Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Rader. If you're watching this video, you are probably somebody like myself who has worked long and hard on figuring out how to become the best version of yourself and be centered and feel more aligned with your essence and who you really are. And now and then you can hold on to that state for minutes, days, weeks, months, and then something will come along in your path that's a trigger that wants to pull you out of your center and have you give up all that hard-earned inner peace. My friend Shay would say, don't take the bait. Anything can be bait. Anything like a conflict with a friend or money issues or health problems. Um, anything where you feel worked up. Because when we get worked up, we're essentially lowering our frequency to meet the frequency of the thing that's upsetting us. Instead of staying within our own frequency, holding our center, and then taking our time to respond from there. So for me personally, the things that can really bait me and hook me are things like um, time crunches. Whenever I think I have a time deadline, I just, I get really, or um, you know what, if someone, if I think that someone doesn't like me, that can just send me off to the races. And then sometimes even the most insidious and subtle is if my own body, by the way, that's my cat under the chair going, <laughs> it's like, it's baiting me. Um, if my own body is giving me danger signals, so if I feel like a pit in my stomach or burning in my stomach or some sort of um, my heart racing, then I'm really kind of tricked by the experience and I'm like, wait, maybe there is danger. This really is a problem. I really do have to try to fix it or change it or control it or ooh. And then I've lost my essence. So we can almost think of it like um, when these tests come, it's like being tempted by the devil. I know that's, that's a little out there, but I just mean, you know, in old, in myth, that's the idea is that these, um, you know, these shadow aspects come and they, they bait us and they tempt us. Are you willing to leave yourself? How much do you value your center? You know, how about this? How about now? What if it's even a bigger challenge? And it's really our opportunity to practice staying centered, feeding ourselves first, pausing, waiting to respond so that we're not coming from a reactive place. And of course we don't sort of bury our head in the sand and be like, this isn't happening or try to stay in denial. We, we address whatever it is in the world that needs addressing. But if we're not gonna take the bait, that means we realize there's nothing more important than our sense of inner well-being. Nothing in the world could possibly be more important than that. So um, that part of us inside is so much bigger than anything we experience. It's so much bigger than any story or any emotion we're having or any sensation in our body. And the more we learn to trust that inner stillness and inner center, the more smooth and joyful and peaceful our lives will be. And each time that the bait comes, it's an opportunity for us to practice focusing on what we really truly value, which is being higher expressions of who we really are. So this is my little reminder to you and reminder to me that in these times especially, there can be a lot of triggers, a lot of baits. And my advice to you, don't take the bait. I so look forward to hearing from you in the comments section about what your experiences have been with taking or not taking the bait. Hope you have a beautiful day.